How's it going guys? Welcome back to another progression video where we are preparing ourselves for God Wars 3. I have heard some rumours that it is meant to be out sort of in the first half of this year but we'll have to see what happens with that with the new lockdown restrictions and stuff in the UK now coming into place. Jagex may be not able to get into the offices and stuff but we'll have to see what happens and uh, hope, 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 hope that um, it isn't delayed all that much. But at the end of the last video I was doing ED1 and it was um, something that I said I would be doing a lot more of now that I could do a two jump uh, kill. And I have been doing quite a lot of ED1. So we are going to finish off a couple of kills there, get some more money from that, and see if we can get anything awesome. Some, um, you know, big drops of like 100 scales would be incredibly nice to see. However, we'll have to see what happens. But there is something that I want to do in this episode, and that is going to be getting some range gear sorted out. Range at the moment is incredibly strong, and I literally only have magic. So it'd be nice if I could maybe work in this video to try and get some money together to maybe buy dual ascensions, um, up upgrade some perks, stuff like that, and um, see what we can end up doing. We may not finish off the full set of um, range gear in one go. Obviously, there's a lot. Like I need, I would probably want to get uh, the greater ricochet ability at some point. I also need the um, tier 99. Uh, curse for it so there's definitely a lot of money that i need but if we can get the base stuff like um the ascensions and maybe some perks on the gear that we do have then that'd be awesome so let's try and do that in this episode if you enjoyed then um make sure to leave a like on the video if you are new and you enjoy progression videos and you enjoy other sort of stuff do subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel as well if there's any videos that you may enjoy that you haven't seen yet but let's jump into ed1 which is currently my favorite money making method hopefully it pays off So I'm not going to show a whole lot more of ED1 as I don't want to ruin the um, video idea that I have of about 100 kills all in one chest for the future. But the first two kills that I showed you there equal to around about 20 to 25 mil once you include all the loot that went into the chest. And since then I have also done the Curse of the Blackstone quest and that will allow me now for all of my loot to go straight into the chest so that will make it nice and easy for the video in the future anyway. But like I said I don't want to ruin it too much this next drop was another five scale so around about five mil so I'm sure you can take away from that that this boss is incredibly profitable especially going off my last video that I did as well but anyway let's move on to the next boss because we have a lot of money to make if we want to get even close to getting ascensions or any sort of range gear in this video so I did have a clip for Araxor, which was quite funny as one of my friends has been trying to get their last leg piece at Araxor for probably around about three or four days now and they just couldn't get it. Like they've been there for so long and they haven't got it whatsoever. But they were messaging saying that they've been there and they're complaining basically. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go and do an hour of Rax and see if I could get a drop just to wind them up. So we did go and on the very first kill we got a spider leg bottom. It's here in my bank but I unfortunately deleted that clip. So that's really kind of annoying but I guess that'll teach me for not naming all of my files when I actually finish recording them. However, of course, now that we have one leg piece that just means we have more motivation to do a Raxor. And now a lot of you know my look at a Raxor isn't great but hopefully this time it'll be different seeing as that came very, very soon. Maybe it won't, but we'll just have to see what happens. Anyway, we did a few more kills at racks. We got a few onyxes and stuff like that. So definitely good money made. But otherwise, I'm not going to spend too much more time on this boss as there really isn't all that much more to share and show with you guys. However, after that, we went to do a next run with a few people. Um, nothing came from those. We didn't make any money really at all. Maybe about 20 mil altogether with the splits of the bolt and stuff. But it's always good to get a good next run in every now and again, just in case you get that Torva plate drop. Also, it's a very, very easy boss for me to do with people in the Discord. So just to 
drop that in here if you guys want to join the discord and possibly do some bossing with me get yourself in the next episode and stuff then jump into my discord there's a link in the description and i will be happy if i have the time to to jump in and do some bosses with you guys So with all of those bosses not really giving us anything, Rax and Nex, and I've done a few other things as well, it was time to try something else. So we've been doing a lot of ED1 and that is absolutely awesome, but however I didn't want to spend all of the time showing you that in this video as it's just going to be a lot of repetitive stuff and also ruining the video in the future. However, ED3, have you guys seen the pricing on the Eldritch Crossbow at the moment? The prices on the pieces from ED3 is absolutely insane. Of course, doing this in a duo, as you can see here, isn't the most efficient way to do things, but at this point, I hadn't actually managed to do a solo at the Ambassador before, so I did bring a friend who wanted to learn ED3, so I figured that way I could get a bit more practice in, and also he could learn a new boss too. It was a lot of fun doing ED3, and I did a lot of ED3 this week, like an absolute ton. I just wanted to see one drop, as one drop split between two people would have been a massive, massive jump in cash, and it would have pretty much just paid for my ascensions outright. So, we did end up doing quite a lot of runs while my friend was learning, and also we were just trying to get that big ticket drop. You will be able to see some of the drops happening now as I am talking. You may have seen a few already, but I'm not going to lie to you guys and I'm not going to waste a ton of your time. We did get one big drop and it of course was not on my log as my log here is still completely empty. But who can complain when they get such a massive split as this one? Once we sold this off at the Grand Exchange, we did end up getting a total of 732 mil. Now, this was a 366 mil split, and with the cash that I already made, I now had enough to finally buy some Ascension Crossbows. Now, you may have seen that I had one in the last clip and next, However, that was literally something that I had to sell off as I really needed the money for supplies for bossing and stuff like that. I think I bought it for maybe a day or two and then I had to get rid of it. So now that we have bought our Ascension Crossbows, we have put some pretty cheap perks in them at the moment and our Serenic was already perked out from uh, in the past. However, the perks on that really need upgrading as well. Let me know in the comments below which sort of perks I should be getting because I am useless with perks and while I do have people that I can ask, it, you know, it's pretty helpful to get advice from everybody else as well. But now that we have that, we have pretty much no money to our name. We have, well, we have a little bit, but I have a plan for what I want to spend that on. So let's go ahead and talk about what I plan on doing next. So there is two things that I wanted to do, and I'm going to start off with this one. So I eventually am going to want all perks on all of the tier 90 equipment. It's going to take me a while, but that is something I want to do. Now, recently I found out that actually the equipment separators are actually worth using on your tier 90 gear uh, when you are ready to upgrade to tier 92 if you do use the scavenging perk to get your ethereal components. Now, when I used one of these in the past, it took me so long to actually get these ethereal things. I had to get my clan to come out and buy out my wizard shop and all that sort of stuff, and it just didn't seem worth it. Not only that, some of the stuff does cost a lot of money to actually make. However, now that I know that the scavenging perk does make this a lot better, I've gone out, finally made scavenging 4, and I will be spending time while I'm editing here at the Hellhounds just to get all the components and stuff gathered up and maybe even get some lucky rare ones, who knows. But I'm going to be doing that while I'm editing, and the reason that I'm doing it at the Hellhounds and not things like Corpus Spiders and stuff like that is because these drop hard clues, and... I figured, you know, if I can get hard clues while I'm doing this, then you know what? Maybe it's time that I actually invested some time into doing clue scrolls in this game. So let me know in the comments, would you like to see me do some clue scroll content during the, these videos, for example? I could maybe open something like 10 to 20 chests, and who knows? We could get incredibly lucky, or we could just get nothing. But it could be something that we could do, so let me know what your thoughts are on that. And now that we've talked about that, let's talk about the next thing that I really, really want to do, as I think it's probably going to help out with my range stuff eventually, if I get lucky, quite a lot. Now, for anyone who recognizes the song track in the back, you may not actually know the title of the song. It's called Dream. Now, the reason this is playing while I am talking about this is because this boss is one that I just really would have not imagined me to be able to solo at any point and without putting a ton of time in at least. So, Raksha. Let's talk about Raksha. 
Paul in my Discord the other day was asking if anyone wanted to base tank Raksha and that way we could do any duo kills and I did look at it and I've always thought that, you know, it'd be cool if I could just go to Raksha whenever I wanted as there is a lot of money on the line with that greater ricochet codex. However, I would love to be able to solo this boss, so I figured, you know what, why not go? Let's get some practice in, I will base tank. I told him that there is a good chance that I will probably just die over and over again, so in case he didn't want me to waste his time. However, he was fine, we went ahead, and to be honest, I was quite impressed. I hadn't been for a long time at this point, and to be honest, the first kill went terrible. I died very, very quickly. But following that, I didn't actually die. We got kills, we got consistent kills, and even though we didn't do a full hour as I had to leave at some point, there really wasn't any issues whatsoever. So, this gave me the motivation to now come back and learn this boss solo. I'm going to put time in, I will learn this boss solo, and come the next episode, I will be able to kill this boss consistently. I do use magic, so it may be worth investing into a scythe so I can kill those freaking pools very, very consistently. Or, who knows, maybe with the new range gear we've just bought and maybe once we've got some more perks on it, we'll come in that instead. We'll see how it goes, but I have challenged myself in the past to reach a goal before the next episode comes out, and I am challenging myself again now to be able to solo this boss come the next episode the next episode will probably be a week or two away so i do have plenty of time to do so however with the amount of time that i do consistently play runescape at the moment um it will end up coming along very very quickly so hopefully we can learn this boss solo and if so that greater ricochet codex if we get one will be just be being activated if we get one in solo i won't be selling it i will be using it for myself as i would really really like to have that ability as it just seems ridiculously strong however guys that is going to be my final plan and my final part of this video for you guys today hopefully you enjoyed if you did then make sure to leave a like in the video and if you are new here or if you're not and you just haven't subscribed yet then do consider subscribing as there will be more of this coming out in the near future and i do also make other sort of videos as well of course if you want to join the discord and get involved in any future videos then just drop down to the description and there will be a link there for you to join but like i said that is all i have for you guys today so thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one see you later guys